Welcome to the Park Hyatt Tokyo. In this video, I'll show you around this hotel and just bring you along through my stay rather than do a full review because this hotel is about to undergo a major renovation. Anyway, the Park Hyatt Tokyo is located in Shinjuku, which has a pretty confusing train station. Once I exited the station, I couldn't find the complimentary shuttle to the hotel, so I just ended up walking. But this hotel is located in a big office building, so it's actually pretty confusing to figure out where the entrance is. I ended up asking someone for help in order to find the elevator to the hotel. Inside the elevator, I was greeted by a member of the hotel staff, and at the top, he brought my luggage to the reception and check-in area. There, I was able to sit down and complete check-in with another member of the hotel staff. I was given a bottle of water, and instead of a key card, I was also given this leather hotel room key. I later found out that if I lose this room key, I would be charged 5,000 yen. Anyway, after I completed the check-in process, the check-in agent came up to my deluxe room with me and showed me some of the main features of the room. But now, let's take a more detailed look around the room. This room is obviously a bit old since they're about to renovate, but the view is really nice. I can even zoom in to take a photo of Tokyo Skytree. In the nook next to the TV, we have some complimentary tea and water. If we open up the cabinet underneath, we'll find the complimentary coffee. While I don't need a cold drink, it's a nice gesture that the staff had already prepared some ice in the room. The last free thing is in this box. Even though we're in Tokyo right now, these look like traditional Kyoto style candies. Now let's take a look at the drinks and snacks that are not free. From the room, let's head over to the walk-in closet and check out what's there. Between the closet and the bedroom, we'll find the bathroom.
in the shower, we have Lilabo toiletries. This Santal 33 line that many Park Hyatt's use is probably my second favorite luxury hotel scent after Nor 29 used in addition hotels. One thing I like to check at luxury hotels is the mirror, and it feels like this one is heated. So I went up to the pool and fitness center, which were very nice, but they didn't want me taking any photos or videos up there. I also couldn't shoot any videos inside of the public bath area for obvious reasons. One thing I thought was pretty cool though, was that in the public bath and spa area, they had rental sportswear and swimwear for guests that didn't bring their own. The famous restaurant here, New York Grill and Bar, is also already closed for its renovation, so I can't show you that either. I guess the main thing left to show you is my breakfast in the morning. The variety of foods at the breakfast buffet wasn't huge for a Japanese hotel of this caliber, but many were made with high quality local ingredients. I started off with some salad and yogurt, as well as some apple juice and hot chocolate. I also pre-ordered the Japanese breakfast set, which I see online that many people like to order as room service. With the exception of the miso soup, which had bold flavor, I would describe the food here as light and fresh. It's too bad I didn't have the extra time and space in my stomach to try all of the pastries, but I did end my meal with something a little bit sweet. This morning when I went down for breakfast, it was actually snowing quite heavily. But now the sky is cleared up, so it's almost time for me to check out. Anyway, on screen, you'll see a more proper review of a hotel here in Tokyo, so do check that out if you're interested in it, or if you're planning to visit Japan and looking for some potential places to stay.